What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I have some great news for the Torin users. A brand new Torin jailbreak update has been released, but we also talk about the WWDC 21 and the iOS 15, which has been released in beta. This video is brought to you by AppTrans, a free software that allows you to transfer applications from a device to another and back up your conversations from WhatsApp. Check it out in the link below. There is a free version available on the iMobi website for both Windows and Mac OS. So a few days ago, the Torin jailbreak has been updated, the ODC team posted Torin 1.0.5 is now available and it does have a couple of important changes, it's nothing major but you should definitely update your Torin right now. It doesn't add support for you know newer versions like 14.4 or 14.4.1 and stuff like that but it does fix a couple of things, for example it applies a potential fix for the MFID panics which apparently are quite common for some people. It does also dump info from the black screen of death to a file now and now you can create this file here, probably an empty file, in order to trip the verbose PSOD or blue screen of death instead, and the springboard alert when tweaks are disabled. So that's basically it. It's not a major update, but it does have a potential fix for the MFID panics, which is important, especially if you had that kind of problem before. Now, as always, you can install it via Alt Store. There is even an Alt Store repo which you can add if you want to get the IPA from your device, but it should definitely get your Torin jailbreak updated. Now, do keep in mind that in in the past couple of days there have been some fake accounts pretending to be the ODC team or Torin team and stuff like that. Now one of them has been called out by the ODC team here and it's now removed. You can see that it no longer exists. Let's try to see if the account still exists. Yeah, the account still exists. This one here called Torin Jailbreak, which as you can see immediately after the ODC Jailbreak posted their update also posted the update here. They are not the legit one. They apparently try to make people believe that this is the legit Torin Jailbreak. It's not. The Torin Jailbreak doesn't have a Twitter handle. The ODC team has a Twitter handle, and that handles ODC and Torin Jailbreak on the same account. This one, even though it says Torin.app in here, is not legitimate. But apparently, 1600 people did not believe that this is fake. So, yeah, this is definitely fake. Torin app in here at Torin app is not legitimate. The real one is basically the ODC team, which is at ODC team underscore. So, be sure to not fall for the scams because they announced like some sort of 14.4 jailbreak break like Torin for 14.4, which is definitely not happening anytime soon. So if you're using Twitter, try to get your news only from the official accounts. So that's it with the Torin. There is an update available, definitely get it, definitely update your device. Now speaking of updates, you probably know that a couple of hours ago, we finally had the WWDC 21. In here in the keynote, you can see exactly what happened and they discussed about iOS and of course the new notifications, how they group the new notifications in the iOS. 15 and of course other changes that they have like for FaceTime and so on. Now iOS 15 itself is not a major update, it really isn't all that great compared to iOS 14, it doesn't change a lot of stuff, but it does come with some important changes. The very first change starts with the FaceTime. Now you can group watch something, you can group play music and stuff like that while you are in a FaceTime call. They brought spatial audio to the uh, FaceTime and so on. For the camera they have live text now, a small button in there on the corner which would recognize text even if it's scribbled by hand and it would try to like copy the text from a picture for example if you take a photo of a banner or an ad on the street which has a phone number on it you would be able to like select the phone number from the photo and call it or you know save it and stuff like that or translate the data from that picture which is nice it's a great feature and then you have this notification groups which basically groups the notifications that you don't really need right now and only leaves at the top the ones that you really need like missed calls or messages and stuff like that. It's an interesting feature. It's part of a bigger feature called Focus, which allows you to do even more do not disturb stuff. But then that's basically it. That's the major thing with iOS 15. This is the new do not disturb with Focus, where you can basically set different presets like I'm at work, only allow these applications to give me notifications, or I'm at home, block these notifications and stuff like that. So it's a little bit more fine tuning to the already existing do not disturb. This is the new groups for the notifications and really that's it. It does have multiple features like in health and in maps which now support dark mode and for the home kit they add the support for you know car keys and home keys for home kit supported locks but really the most important part is the app privacy. They're introducing the app privacy report which basically shows you how many applications tried to access whatever feature on your device like location and camera and how many times and the network activity so that you have a better look on what the applications are doing in the background. 
Other than that, they do have some changes to the weather, it now contains more information, and presented in a better way, the notes are a little bit better now because you have quick note, and of course you can share them easily, but really there aren't any major features that would make you want to update iOS 15. Of course this is just beta 1 for the moment for the developers, so if you want to get it right now, you can if you have a developer account or the proper profile, but it's really nothing that I would update my device for, at least not until the stable version is out. No changes to the icons, no changes to the theming, no changes to the control center, just some minor tweaks here and there, but nothing really major. There are more changes to the iPad OS. So if you want to, definitely watch the keynote. It's only an hour and 40 minutes long. So if you want to know exactly what's going on, definitely check it out in the link below. Thank you for watching. I am GSNow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.